Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tool Shop. Today, I have my second package in. This is going to be my uh, quick change tool post. Unbox that. Let's jump right into it and open it up. So this is a AccuSize quick change tool post. It is a USA style piston type. This is a uh, number 200 type. It's six pieces. This is for a 10 to 15 inch swing lathe. Uh, my Logan lathe is a 10 inch swing. Um, I got the bigger size just in case I ever want to upgrade or work with bigger tooling, for example, uh, like uh, carbide cutters or something like that. If I ever get bigger ones, I can work with them as it has bigger sizes for allowance. This video is not sponsored or anything. I just been saving up for one of these, so figured why not do an unboxing and review at it. So this comes in six boxes right here. I'm gonna take one out. Oh, these are heavy. These are also all made out of steel. So I saved up to get the a little bit more expensive up front, however I also know that if it's made out of steel, machined, and surface ground and everything, that is going to last me so much more longer um, than if I was to get a aluminum one or something like that. Getting into the tool post itself. be the handlebar. This stuff is all also comes oil coated so nothing rusts at all, especially being in the bag. So once again this is the 250-200 AccuSize tool post for lathes 10 to 15 inches. You can see that these actually move in and out, which is how it grabs onto it. Uh, these are milled. It is all steel as well, so that's something I really like about it. Um, this comes with a just a square plate that uh, has the corresponding screw that you put through here, and then this is what spins and tightens down on the tools. Uh, they give you a block here. Um, they give it to you really big. And the intention for having just this solid block, no T-slot, is because every lathe is different for its uh, T-slots on its compound slides. So what they do is they get, give this here, and normally if you know you have this type of tooling or you're buying something like this, you have access to machines to mill this down to the size that you want, whether it be milling it down sideways, you know, all this kind of stuff. They expect you to have that stuff because it, this is more of a customizable piece, it's not a one-size-fits-all everything up, everything else comes. I will get into more uh, opening this up, exploring, you know, showing you guys how this works, but uh, for now I don't have the tools up here to do that, so I'm just going to set this aside and move on to the next part. So let's start with 250-201. Alright, so they come in little pieces just like this. And then just gotta open it up however means necessary. So this right here has a three and a half inch, just under three and a half inch uh, total capacity for length. It has a five eighth total total tool depth, or height, sorry, tool height, and a half inch tool depth. So, this is just a flat bottom, just square milled out piece. Has a two, one knurled knob, and then a nut to be able to set onto, so just bring this over. So this is for the intention of being able to set it on set the tool up in here, clamp it down with the four keys, normally with an allen key or something. Now you set the height and then bring in an adjustable wrench or the wrench for this. You always have this set to center and then as soon as you go to lock this down, you'll just tap this into place, it locks. 
and then you can machine with it, whether it be on the face or sorry, uh, face boring or just longitudinal cutting. These sides are up here also chamfered as well to be able to help guide. All the tools are very well oiled as well. Very nice job on the paint as well. I don't think this is going to come off anytime. But uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that with the glare or not, but this part obviously looks very surface ground. There's grind marks, very clean, very precise. 250 or 250-202. This just comes same package. I believe this is the same tool as this. 5 8 height, half inch depth, same height, three and a half length, sorry. Same distance for the knobs, adjustable, hex. Um, the difference with this rest and that rest, uh, this is a 201, this is a 202, which means that if you guys can see that right down there, there's actually a little V groove for holding uh, boring bars, so uh, or cylindrical objects if you want to. And just set them in and go from there. Now moving on to 250-204. This would be for a uh, boring bar here. Set this up on the inside or potentially with uh, boring with the face bar. The inside diameter of this rates to three quarters of an inch. The outside diameter is one inch. So this is actually a little sleeve that can shake and probably pull out, come out. Um, there's little screws right here that tighten up to compress this around the boring bar. 250-207 for the tool post. This is 250-207. Once again, with the knurled knob and the nut, uh, what this is is a uh, parting blade cutter. So you can have uh, pieces, like a little piece of, uh, say for uh, high speed steel, you can get little bars of it for parting tools that you can make, which this measures to be about, uh, probably about 3 16 deep, and can probably hold parting blades I'd say at least 5 eighths. Finally, the 250-210. We have a face facing off piece or a facing off slot so you can insert a cutter into here for facing the material which you can set into on this side for facing the, mater the material if you have your headstock here you know, Compound slide and you're standing on this side of it, you can use it to face off your tools or face off your pieces that you are machining. Or you can turn it on this side, and if you notice, there's actually little diagonal knurling tools. See, so these, I'm not sure if there's bearings in them or not, but they turn very freely. Knurled it, knurling it, sets it on the side up against the piece that you are turning to get the knurls onto it, or for facing operations. Just set it onto there, lock down, and go from there. So this is the unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be making a part two of installing this onto my lathe. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get that done, but hopefully sooner rather than later. So in that, have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop a big thumbs up. Comment down in the comment section down below for future video ideas. And in that, have a great day, guys. See you in the next one.